Hello folks, this is Wise Gamer here, and today we're going to be going over some tech talk. That's right. After all, when it comes to gaming, what is the most important feature in or product in your computer? That would be your video graphic card. Okay. Of course, you've got to have everything else up to par along with your graphic card, but we know our graphic card is the heartbeat of gaming. So, I just got an update today on my AMD video card. And I'm just getting ready to update that now, and I wanted to share it with you guys or anybody out there who, who never went through the steps of actually updating a driver before. Now, the first thing you want to do, usually, is uh, what I like to do is, for, uh, I'm using Windows 8.1, okay? And I'm sure Windows 8 is very similar to this, and 7's kind of close. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on the main, our main folder in the toolbar, put it on this PC, option right here, and we're going to go to System Properties right here, right up here. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, let me double check something. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure my cursor was showing for this. All right, so we're going to go back here, okay, and again we're going to go to System Properties. You click on that. And to the left here, where it says Control Panel Home, over here we're going to go to System Protection. I'm going to click on that. Okay, again for Windows 8.1 and Windows 8. And let me see just a second here. Okay. Now what we are going to do is, let me see, let me put that in the back there. I'm doing window capture with OBS, so I got to keep it out. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So what we want to do is just as a as a backup precaution, you like to create a, a restore point in your computer. So in case if the driver kind of acts up and things like that, you could you could you could get your old one back. You know. Um, so to do that, they make it very easy in Windows uh, 8.1. Right down here, you're going to see create a restore point right now for the for the drives that have system protection turned on, blah, 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 blah. But it's going to actually restore more than that. So all you simply have to do, and again, let me go back to those steps. You're just going to go to your main folders down here. Make sure it's on this PC. So you've got these options on the top. Go to system properties. Okay, and on the left, you're going to go to system protection okay and I'm already and then you're gonna to go to the system protections tab okay I was already set there then we're gonna do a create and you're just gonna press that create button and you're gonna title this whatever you want like I put mine I, I already made mine so I'm not gonna do it again um, AMD uh, update driver okay then you hit create okay mine's blanked out right now because I already did it and then it should say this successful if you did it right and, it, and that's going to create a restore point that you have a reference to go back to before we do all this okay so for now on mine I'm gonna hit cancel I'm gonna come out of all this okay and actually we need to go back into the folder because now the next thing we want to do is go to control panel go down to programs programs and features and it's going to take you to add and remove where you could remove all your major programs okay so for this one we're going to go for mine we're going to go to AMD um, install manager now what I can't understand is I thought I already uninstalled mine because I I was filming this earlier but I lost the video because it did a, a, a restart but now I'm seeing it back into my computer so I don't know what's going on here, but let me see what happens if I if I try it again. For the sake of the video, I'm kind of glad it's still back. So we're going to go to change. Okay. Um, and you're going to go to next. And you're going to go to uninstall manager. Ignore these features down here for this video. Hit next. Express. 
I'm just keeping mine on Express. But again, your video driver might have a different option menu, but they, they should be kind of similar. Like if you're using NVIDIA or something, okay? So we're going to keep it on Express. I'm going to hit Next. This will remove all AMD drivers, applications, bleep, bleep, blop. Hit OK. There are no components currently installed. Okay, so this is just a, uh, this is just a, um, a title type thing in my add and remove because it still kept the install manager. That's fine. Okay, so now yours would normally uninstall and it should say successful and then it should give you the option to restart your computer after you've done that. I've already done that, so now I'm going to click finish. Now we're going to get out of here. Okay, we're going to click finish again. Okay, and I'm going to X out of there. Now the next thing we need to do is put in our new one. And mine came in my email. Okay, and it looked just like this. Now, sometimes they don't always email you. It depends on how you got your set up, your notifications, the company you use, and all that stuff. Okay, say if you have NVIDIA, they have notifications too. I never got an email from NVIDIA, but I had an, uh, a desktop application that used to let me know if there was a new update. Okay, and pretty much AMD has that too. But they emailed me too, and that's what that's what let me know that this new one was out. So I'm going to simply just go to download now. And then usually here, okay, usually here is where you've got to set up the video card you have and the machine you have and all that stuff so it gives you the proper driver. Okay, if you're not sure... Most of these have a tool that you could click on a download that will automatically detect it and let the website know, which is right here. Automatically detect and install. Download now. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to do it the old way. So we're going to go to desktop graphics in my, in my case. Then we're going to go to the series that we're running and I'm running the new one year old Radeon R7 series so I'm gonna click on that okay and now you're gonna click on your product which is more about your video card and again you could always find your video card information and stuff like that by certain applications like for instance I'm gonna minimize this Here's a real easy way to tell if it's still going to show after I uninstall the old one, but it should. If you've got this free program called CCleaner, it's going to show you. Let's see. It's going to show you a little bit of information about your computer. And of course, my PC shows it to you. Your driver page shows it to you. Um, Run shows it to you with the right uh, MS Info 32. Um, that also shows it to you, but my but C Cleaner, which is a great cleaner, free application you should download anyways. Put it on your computer. Most of the most of most people that are swabby with their computers all use this. Okay, and right here it's going to let me know what my video card is. AMD Radeon R7 200 series. Mine's actually 260 series, but 200 series is what what it's listed at. Okay, so I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to go back to this. Okay, and I'm going to pick the Radeon R7 to XX series. Select the supported operating system that you have, and I have a six, uh, an 8.1 64-bit. Okay, and now I'm going to hit display results. Okay, and here is, let's see what today's date is. Today's the 26th. Okay, so we know that this is the that this video card just came out within the last 24 hours because it's got the date right here for 25 2014. So we know that this is the new one. Okay, here's the size and the version um, um, version number or whatever. Okay, so you're going to simply click download, save file.
I'll let that finish downloading. I got really fast uh, internet too. I'm surprised it's actually taking this long for 281 MB. But again, there's other people here too taking the sources. Especially that the new driver just came out. I'm sure everybody with this setup is coming here to get this. Once that's downloaded, you could simply just click on the arrow, your download arrow. It's going to open up the folder or the file. Okay. Or if you don't have that option set on your browser, you could just go uh, to your download folder. If you haven't defaulted, if you haven't changed the default to your downloads, click on download and it should be right in here. Okay. So let's see. Is that the one? Let me see. Application. Windows 64. Is that the one? Let's see. Properties. Looks like the AMD insignia, so that's going to be it. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go back to the website. But I think that's definitely it. We're going to click on the download arrow. I'm just going to click on it from here. Okay. We're going to get out of here. I like to close all my windows when I'm doing any installs. I shouldn't even be running the, the broadcast. Uh, you, you don't really want to run stuff when you're doing things like this. So what I'm going to do simply is I'm going to hit install. I'm going to stop the recorder to close that and then I'll bring it back up okay if there's any more steps back and as we could see it's installing right now okay and I'm gonna go pause the video again okay welcome Catalyst install manager is used to install blah blah blah. Let's install mail English next. Install. Express or custom. Let's see what the customs got. Let's see. Express. Uh, yeah, I just want to put in the driver, so Express should be fine for that. I'm not here to put in anything else fancy and things like that. So we're just going to click on Express, click Next, get Accept the Terms. I know none of us read these because we'd be here an hour. The Folder C program does not exist. Would you like to create one? You press Yes. And we're going to let this finish, and I am going to pause it again. Okay, we're back. And it's a good thing I did shut off the recorder because I went to turn it on while it was still installing and it stopped it because, you know, you're dealing with direct axes and all that stuff when you're doing this stuff. And that's what the open broadcaster also rides on too is, is, is video packets. So it's always best to shut anything like this off when you're doing these things. Okay. And we could see that game of the green go. So everything was a go. Then we could view the log. And we could kind of see if there's any kind of anything in here that said failed or un unsuccessful. Okay, we're going to enable Java while I'm here. And we could see everything was successful. And that's good. If you have any error messages, they will be listed down here below. But again, this is for the, how AMD does it. So we should be good to go. Okay, we hit finish. And now we're going to have to do a system restart. And I thank you again for watching wisegamer.com. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.